need to be united, they're very strong and not fragile. And our strategic goal should be that the rest would be easy. We would be able through our uh, capabilities to confront all these challenges. And then the point I've mentioned five years ago to rectify uh, the religious discourse. This reform won't be done except uh, if we all have the conviction, the will, and move towards the change. The conviction, the will, and moving towards the change. You talked about our region, uh, the Middle East. It's the fate of our region, the Middle East region, the very important region at the heart of the old and the new world, and Egypt is in the heart of the heart. So it's, it's fate to have a geopolitical importance due to its wealth. You can see the volume of uh, oil uh, that was extracted over the past years and would be extracted over the next years. So, this is one of the requests to control this region. So, the importance of the region is due to all this, the resources in it, and also the man power and the human capital in it. The last point to answer this question is the ideological conflicts that we have seen over the past years, be it during uh, the Arab nationalism and now what we call the religious extremist uh, ideologies. This destabilizes the region and uh, what aggravates this is that the countries are facing a lot of challenges. E uh, we can consider our region to be a body and each country was an organ of this body. So when they were all united, the immunity was strong. But uh, what we have seen what happened in Syria, Libya, Yemen. And we have seen also what happened in Egypt. Never imagine that if something would happen to Egypt, the whole region won't be wasted. When I say so, I'm not exaggerating. If Egypt faces a problem, the whole region would face it. With our difficult economic conditions, yes, because it's not just a matter of economy. It's a number of things that all made people in the Middle East face all these problems. Of course, there are other points that we can discuss. And there is also the Palestinian cause the fact that uh, it is unresolved up till now. A lot of things could be seen here. Your Excellency, the President, let's move on to another file. We discussed before during the previous conference in the new administrative capital regarding uh, the elections for the localities. Mr. Sir Abu Nasr from Cairo Governorate is asking, when uh, would we hold the localities elections and give them the opportunity to manage uh, the internal affairs. And another question from Kalyubeya, would uh, the localities' elections be held by the end of 2019? Also, we received other questions on the video. There should be an effective role played by the youth in the elections. What is the representation of youth in the coming local councils? You said that you wanted to be 25%. I wanted to be not less than 25%. And there was a lady who talked about the youth conferences and raising the awareness of the youth uh, to participate in the election. So they are mainly talking about the local council's elections and the elections. 
While talking about the issues of the region, there was a question raised about Sudan and the Sudanese revolution and what is its influence. Any chaotic situation in any country had its uh, uh, positive and uh, negative impacts. Whenever this uh, rehabilitation period is uh, increased and is rapid, then the positive impacts are better. There is such a full coordination between us and our uh, allies and our brothers in Sudan and in Ethiopia regarding the water issue. Because this is a partnership among the three countries. Then Sudan uh, and Egypt, there is such a coordination between us. And uh, in fact, it was not affected by this revolution in Sudan. What is the case um, is uh, for the water? Um, just to know everything about it. Uh, the volume of uh, the water which should be stored uh, behind uh, the Renaissance Dam. 75 million cubes of water. This water to be stored from where? From the portions which are moving from the Ethiopian uh, mountain to the uh, Sudanese border. And this is the storage. To be filled, we are talking with our brothers in Ethiopia that filling uh, the storage, meaning that you are going to take from the um, Egyptian water. But we want to agree on this volume to even uh, if there is any damage or any negative impact, we can afford it. But there are damages which we can absorb and there is damages which we cannot take. So we should agree how to fill and to activate the storage in a way that would not affect Egypt. And this is what, what's going on between us and our brothers in Sudan. So maybe uh, the, uh, the case um, is not working uh, the way we like, but I think that we are moving um, in this uh, uh, case to reach this point to fill and activate the storage in the way we want. I'll tell you something, and um, this is something which I'll end my, um, my speech with. Iraq before 1990 used it to receive 100 million cubic meter. Now it receives only 30 billion cubes of water. Now you have seen when the state is weakened, what happens? The strong one, no one can affect him. So take care. Take care of your country, maintain your country, protect your country. It's not going to be strong except with you. Back to uh, the localities and to your question. Uh, every time uh, Dr. Ali Abdelal, the parliament speaker, is sitting in front of me, so uh, he will be the one to discuss this uh, regarding our answer to this question before. So the parliament is going to discuss the laws and to ratify the laws which are going to this issue whether for uh, uh, the localities or to the parliament, whenever they are going to finish it. And this is, would need a share, uh, a social share, and um, a share um, with the, um, um, the political parties. They should be with us. When we reach a vision, the law is going to discuss and to ratify, then we are going to be ready. We hope that in this session, in this round, this discussion is going to take place 
so by the end of the year or the start of 2020, Dr. Ali? We should have been achieved this. It's um, from the year 2008, we did not achieve this. From uh, 2012, uh, it was because of the 2011 uprising. So 25% is going to be the share of the youth. This does not mean um, uh, 25, it's not only 25%, if 30% it's okay, if 35% it's okay. We as a community, if you want to make it a story of success to the case now, would you please choose the, the more perfect one, far from being a fanatic, far, which can be found in uh, Upper Egypt and in some regions. Choose the most perfect person. The perfect people should be with us. So it's 25%? No. Uh, we speak about more than that. Youth has energy, innocence, uh, um, ambition, youth. <laughs> Sir, um, uh, would you please, I'd like just to move uh, just out of uh, these questions. Uh, you spoke about many of the universities which are going to be launched uh, rather than 14 new cities uh, other than um, um, projects and there's four trillion Egyptian pounds were paid um, sometimes uh, the, uh, the, um, the uh, sometimes the people would ask uh, where are the money of the taxes now the case is different from where we got all this money now we are here for six years when we were speaking about construction and development the targets was to compensate what happened during the past years the uh, the the country should change and to change every day. This is what's happening all over the world and this is, should happen with us because there is such a popularity, uh, population rise. And when I speak about these points, about uh, the new cities, many would imagine that uh, this is luxury. It's just a luxury. Luxur this is something um, luxury. No, this is something which should have been taking place long ago. It's not me who is saying so. The one who put this vision, the path we are on, they are um, the biggest prof university professors. Uh, there were um, committees working for more than six months uh, discussing uh, these initiatives. What we are doing, it's not that we slept and, uh, and woke up and, and said that we are going to do so. No, there are plans. Everything which happened in the last period, uh, don't forget that um, this was uh, uh, via loans, whether external ones or internal ones, to speak about what we are talking about. This is going to finish by the 30th of uh, June uh, 2020, isn't it, uh, Dr. Mustafa? Uh, we paid uh, for the construction works in Sinai an unimaginable number. Uh, unimaginable, only, only Sinai, we're speaking, we're speaking about hundreds of billions for example about uh, the water management station from uh, costing from 18 to 20 billion egyptian pounds and another uh, another um, water management station and about roads four to five billion egyptian pounds paid on these uh, projects and in Sharm al-sheikh uh, or the tunnel of taba or the access we are speaking about roads about the Bedouin communities 26 or 28 communities for our families in Sinai what I wanted to say that when we are doing so uh, for example from the Arab funds we took a lot for Sinai it's not only um, from the um, uh, state budget but uh, there are uh, other sums of, uh, of uh, money uh, taken from other sources and we should have been working on this and to change the reality, to change the, um, the case, uh, change the, what's going on on the ground. Um, what, so whenever we are speaking about this point,
I see here um, uh, those who are responsible for the uh, micro and macro industry. We do care very much to encourage the youth, whether males or females, to um, make everything affordable for them, the idea, the training, the finance, everything. But please come, work with us, and don't worry. Your success is our success. We have chances for industries for the 100 million Egyptians, and this is something which I said more than once. If I would make all the 100 million satisfied with all their needs or their answers, that their basic needs, uh, what uh, their cloth, the, the, the daily things, the basic goods used at homes, everywhere. I'm speaking here about uh, the industries which, uh, the, which uh, do not need uh, the latest technologies. This is something which we are focusing on these days to afford uh, job opportunities um, through uh, the uh, SMEs to open or to afford new opportunities. So do not ask me about the money where I've got them, but ask me where the money is going or where they were spent. Moving to another issue, which is the security file from Mrs. Samia Ismail from Giza. Why, why um, we keep silent on those who insult the country from Amr Magdi Hassan from Sharqiya. He said, when, when we are going to face those who are hurting Egypt, and those who are spreading rumors to break the country. In a way or another, you answered these questions in the previous two sessions, but would you please, sir, if I may ask about the challenges facing Egypt regarding this? The modernization and the development of the uh, IT or means of communications in all our region we were not that ready to this kind of development. So this development was used in a negative way, in a very negative way, or we used it in a very negative way, and it was used negatively against us. But I am not that worried about this, because this is a natural development. We Don't worry, I said this more than once. We are going to spreading awareness, uh, which is going to be acquired and achieved by practicing it. Um, we should stop that, we should ban that, no. The effects of these sites uh, seven years ago is not the same like today. Uh, the reactions of people and uh, the, uh, the people, the, pe the way people are reading this is different. Before, sometimes when people It was 15th of uh, March, 2011. Uh, there was such um, a case um, on uh, just beside the uh, cabinet headquarter. No, now the case is totally different. As people, as, as life, as community, as society, we are going to develop. What's new? We need to spread awareness among the new generation. The, the age which did not face or live uh, the um, incidents or the circumstances which took place in the past seven years. So uh, via um, television, uh, via family, we should spread awareness among those kids, among this uh, generations. The laws are there, but there is limits to use laws as a state of law. Not everyone who spoke then we are going to take him, whenever it is under the umbrella of law, he is going to be uh, punished under law. But, but this is a case which we should live with and understand, just take care of. Sir, Mr. President, about the social media, through the video, is there any strategic plan to face the electronic war uh, regarding uh, Regarding the uh, session which um, managed or tackled uh, these rumors or sparing lies, 
now we will be that worried um, after seeing anything on social media because of technology. So what's going on in the more advanced uh, countries, how this is going to happen or to, aff or to affect us? Uh, I, I thought the question I thought the question was speaking about the digitalization of Egypt. If uh, the digitalization is going to uh, cause any um, hazards or dangers, about the metro network, for example, about the institutions, the banks, for example, and other things. I thought that the question was concerned with this, and this is a very important question. Why? Because that this is the real danger. Maybe it was said um, in so, among lines or inside the dialogue, um, some, some people are going to, uh, to hire some hackers uh, to uh, play this role on uh, a reactor, a nuclear reactor, or banks on in, uh, state institutions, strategic institutions in the country uh, to infiltrate. This is, it's not only the most dangerous, both are dangerous. Both are dangerous. Whether using the social networks in spreading rumors, in spreading chaotic ca chaos, uh, or spreading chaotic situations. Imagine if you were, if you, if you were uh, following up what's going on in many other countries, they were shutting the uh, electricity networks for more than once. I said it once in uh, the previous uh, w uh, youth, youth uh, conference, uh, the <laughs> Egypt mined is there 15 meter underneath, 15 meter underground. Many of us did not have the chance to market for this, whether it's the government or the media. We were not able to make the people know well that the new state is a very modernized, developed one. I'm not exaggerating. Now we are modernizing the state, the government in every ministry, digitalizing every institute, having the databases, and there are processes on this database. This is the new beginning, the new start of a modern country, a modern state to implement its work in a very modernized and developed manner. One and a half years ago, we are uh, holding new training sessions for 50,000 youth, uh, males and females, to reach uh, this digitalization for the government. And uh, they are also coming from the government. They are employees. When we go to the new administrative capital, so the government members are going to work on these computers and to run uh, their work through digitalized uh, work or digitalized uh, mechanisms. And this is the new danger. As all the developed countries, those who had these systems before, they also made many uh, protection methods, electronic ones. This is something to develop um, indefinitely to reach this point, to reach this level, to improve and to modernize, to work on yourself. Because um, if we do not do so, uh, anyone can affect uh, the country in an unimaginable way. Now the other part, which you, we were talking about, about spreading lies, we are learning from it. Oh, we speak and we sit with the, with the men, men, with the young men and young women who are, who are on Facebook. When I wanted uh, Tamer to have a program regarding this, we wanted the uh, the people or the youth to know that the state can be behind uh, such talents. We can use media to spread awareness, shedding light on these means which can affect all of us, which can harm all of us.
And uh, here I see Dr. Ashraf Zaki, uh, the, the general secretary of the syndicate of actors, also cinema and theater, music, uh, arts, all the state institutions in the past period. Now we should gather for the thinkers, the men of letter, the men of arts, cinema, television, all of us, in addition to, of course, the mosque and the church, the community. Uh, just be worried on one thing. If you are Egyptian, if you are shaken, this is the most important dangers. But rather than that, no. We are human beings after all. No more questions. But it took my attention when I was uh, speaking. Uh, um, normally, we had questions on the healthcare system, but now and today, no questions about the healthcare system. So she told me a story, so I had her pardon to speak about this. Uh, the coordinator is a pharmacist, and one day she discovered that her uh, mother. Uh, had virus C and because she was working in a pharmacy so um, she was exposed to such cases so how it's becoming a dark life not only for the patient but for the whole uh, family so she was in despair but just two weeks later uh, the state spoke about the virus C medications and it's going to be affordable for with reasonable prices if this medication was not there affordable for everyone, for she was worried that it's going to be that expensive and the side effects of the medications and the searching for the transplantation, um, it's very expensive. And But two weeks later, the medications were in the market and her, her mother is now free of virus C. When she was... Uh, she was uh, when she was telling me so, she wanted, she said that she wanted just to stand in front of you, Mr. President, and to say thank you. When I listened to her story and how much she was in tears, but I imagined for a minute that the 100, uh, 100 million health state campaign was such a successful one. Maybe there were some bad stories or bad actions, but but in front of uh, the bad stores, there are great stores of success so we want to speak about and we want to narrate to each other because I was very affected. This is a message of uh, thanks to, from all the Egyptian families to you who now are, feel safe, uh, whether there's virus here or no. Um, uh, this is not uh, going to affect us. So thank you very much for all the achievements which uh, uh, were achieved or implemented on the ground. Mr. Rami, in 1992 and 1993, uh, virus C appeared in Egypt or worldwide. But may uh, God bless his soul, Dr. Yassin, Dr. Yassin Abdul Ghaffar. He was the, uh, the first one to, to, uh, to warn against this. And this virus was killing the Egyptians. He was, um, Dr. Yassin was, um, um, for all those who are, go who are going to work abroad, they wanted a certificate saying that you are free of this virus. And in Egypt, it was a secret, something top confidential. So the, um, the patient would not say it to, uh, even to his family, to his wife or to his children that he's affected with virus C because of its harsh, uh, harsh um, effects. If you do have hope, maybe God would make it run via your hands according to your intention and to sense of loyalty to the idea how much you feel uh, for the people. So whenever there is a chance, but it's, it's uh, the medication, it's not only with money, no. Uh, the, vir the campaign uh, it was completely free. The medication was completely free, given completely free. And after being the first, Egypt was the first 
So the first uh, affected with virus C, now Egypt is totally free and another country now is filling this, filling this uh, position. Virus C and uh, the non-communicable diseases and now we are speaking about, I remind myself and I remind you, the, the comprehensive survey for the Egyptian women No, it's uh, the ear, uh, the ear, and uh, also the Noor al Haya or the uh, life light for um, checking the uh, uh, the sides or the eyes of the Egyptians. Whenever we are going to continue with these initiatives till we have the uh, uh, health or the medical insurance to cover all Egypt. These initiatives are not going to succeed except with all of us. We are speaking about 200 or 300 billion Egyptian pounds. And Dr. Hala, I'm asking Dr. Hala, the Minister of Health, uh, 300 billion pounds in the medical insurance to cover all Egyptians. If it's not the full cooperation among all the uh, social sectors, there is a part which will be shouldered by the uh, state and the other part uh, by the society. It's a chance to speak about the partnership between the state and the society. We were speaking just a few years, a few days ago about this, about the wastes in the streets and everywhere. Um, this is something which is occupying a big part of our thoughts. I told you before, what we are taking on uh, the um, electricity bills, 800 billion uh, million uh, pounds uh, to, um, to end the crisis to, or to end the problem of the waste only in Cairo, it's uh, four doubles this sum of money. What to do? So we were obliged to afford resources to solve this problem, not only in Cairo, but all over Egypt and other provinces, but to make projects uh, to make sure of its efficiency regarding the system. We should have Egypt suitable and equivalent to us. Mr. President, we thank you so very much for your keenness uh, to attend the Ask the President and uh, to have it in every uh, conference. Uh, and we hope that this is going to continue forever. It's a great chance to all people uh, to ask you and to listen from you regarding the most important issues they uh, worry about. I thank you very much. I thank all the Egyptians that we had such a long day speaking in many topics and in many files and I hope that we benefited from this from every and each file we spoke about or we discussed. May God protect Egypt. The National Anthem. May God protect Egypt and its people. The national anthem.
شباب مصر هو امل مصر عشان انتم الشباب اللي تقدروا بفضل الله سبحانه وتعالى تغيروا الواقع الى واقع افضل بالجهد والاصرار والصبر المؤتمر الوطني للشباب المنارة سبتمبر 